What does that mean? This is bastards. This is the other word. I'll just say bastards. <laughs> Today's sermon is on microtransactions and some burning, stinking proof that video games companies think that they're the dog's bollocks. It's about how these horrible little bastards have snuck their way into our games to such a level now that we're, we're all okay with them. We are cool with microtransactions. Delighted with them, even. Now, GTA Online is a popular game. When Rockstar first launched its Twitch-friendly multiplayer world of cars, chaos and customizations, the plan was to keep it going for a long time. Why? Money! Obviously, Take-Two Interactive have made a crap load of cash out of GTA Online and have done it while keeping content updates absolutely free. They give stuff away, give players new things to do and crucially, give them plenty of reasons to come back. So how the hell do they make money? Well, first of all, let's not forget the fact that GTA Online helps GTA 5 continuously stay sky high in the charts every single week since it's three separate releases on last gen, current gen and on PC. People keep buying the game in huge numbers to this day, so Rockstar keep getting loads of money from actual sales. I mean, the game has sold 80 million copies, but then there's the real moneymaker, Shark Cards. Even the name, like, it's Shark. Shark Cards, It's like you're playing yeah. poker and there's f***ing shark. Like, yeah. that's where it, like, it, it brings up in me. Shark in your wallet. Like yeah. Shark trying to steal things from you, trying yeah. to take all the money out of your wallet, which is what they f***ing do. Players can buy in-game cash using actual real-world currency. It's a microtransaction system that allows players to buy heaps and heaps of GTA dollars to spend on anything they want, thereby skipping the graft of actually playing the game to make money. All right, whatever. People can skip skip hours of grinding if they want to buy a new vehicle or some property maybe, fine. But it's a microtransaction system that grates with a lot of the community for many reasons. It takes too long to get stuff done. It's just too much of a grind without buying shark cards. In short, all classic microtransaction complaints. It's pretty undeniable that a large portion of the player base are not happy about shark cards or the way they're handled. But here's the kicker, a big almighty kicker square in the bollocks. Speaking at the Cohen and Company 45th Annual Technology Media and Telecom Conference, last week. There's a mouthful. I didn't get an invite to the Cowan and Company 45th Annual Technology Media and Telecom Conference. Did you get an invite to yeah, the uh, Cowan and Company? Yeah, I did, but mine got stuck in the in the post box because yeah. it was so big Such they couldn't get it through. The fucking too much in ink in it. <laughs> Strauss Zelnick, CEO of Rockstar Parent Company Take-Two Interactive said, you can't give stuff away for free in perpetuity. There's no business model in that. But we're not trying to optimize the monetization to the nth degree. My concern is if you do that, the customer knows, he said. They might not know they know, but they feel it. We are convinced that we are probably, from an industry view, under monetizing on a per user basis. There is wood to chop, because I think we can do more, and we can do more without interfering with our strategy of being the most creative and our ethical approach, which is delighting consumers. We're not gonna grab the last nickel. This whole piece from Strauss on this shows his contempt for people like us. The attitude that he's got is, is just symbolic of what the whole company thinks, what other similar companies think about microtransactions. It's not f***ing good. And it's this whole idea that we're all we're all alright with microtransactions, yeah. that we're delighted with the way they've been implemented yeah. in GTA Online is terrible. And that is the problem. That you can expect this kind of thing in Red Dead Redemption. Microtransactions, they, there's, a, there's a place for them in free-to-play yeah. games. And, and that's, that's where they came from, isn't it? Exactly. That's where that, um, that model of making money in a game came from. Because it's a free-to-play game, you want to make money from it, you add microtransactions, and that's where the developer gets their money. This is not a free-to-play game. This is a full-priced AAA game that they're adding microtransactions in. They've ripped this money-making device from free-to-play games and stuck it in a full price game. Yeah, okay, they're still developing content for this game, but you've already paid your f money. They've got 80 million, over 80 yeah. million worth of sales for this game. 80 million it's not, times 40 quid is a lot of exactly, money. Exactly, it's not like they're, they're short on money. They don't need this money. They're just, they're just trying to grab money from us as, mu as much as they can. And it's this insidious thinking, the way I see it, is that people are beginning to just accept that microtransactions are a, are a decent thing in full price games, whereas they're Thing not they shouldn't be there in full price games and that's wh where we lie with this anyway yeah. just add an expansion to the game charge us for that make the world game world bigger add a different part of the map add different missions i'm perfectly fine yeah. i will pay for that that's dlc microtransactions could so Strauss Zelnick thinks the GTA Online player base is delighted with monetization the way it is. They're f***ing not. He says you can't just keep giving things away for free. 
They're f***ing not. He says they're under-monetizing GTA Online. They're f***ing not. GTA Online is a big project, no doubt, but it's one that you bought access to when you paid for the game full price. It's a full fat product. It's not a free-to-play game that's in desperate need of another kind of monetization. Yeah, okay, Rockstar keeps adding content to it, and that is great, but it's not entirely free, really, is it? They're not giving it away without expecting anything in return. They have a wide-reaching and extensive monetization system in the game, one that many, many current players thoroughly dislike. To imply that they're giving things away for free, that players are delighted with the way things are, and that GTA Online is under-monetized is patronizing and actually pretty insulting. Some people defend microtransactions and say, oh, it's only from people buying mi microtransactions that they're able to afford producing these expansions like the bikers expansion and the, and the races expansion and all that kind of shit. No, the 80 million units worth of sales is what allows them to afford to keep developing that type of content. But wake up, guys. You're allowing them to justify this bullshit practice. Do not justify microtransactions in that way because it makes you look stupid and f ignorant. That goes for defending any kind of corporation at all as well. Don't. <laughs> Who <laughs> makes money ever? hand over fist saying, yeah. oh, we need to charge a little yeah. bit extra because I need to fucking upgrade my Ferrari to a f***ing Bentley or whatever the f*** they want to ride. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one of the most common complaints of GTA Online and Rockstar and Take-Two in general, actually, is the heavy-handed implementation of the shark cards in the game. No question. Whether any of that is valid or reasonable, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is, it's being said by players of the game. They're long-standing opinions held by a sizable chunk of the GTA Online community. What Strauss Zelnick has done with his comments is either A, blindly look past everyone's complaints, or B, not realize how a huge portion of his own customer base actually thinks about his product. Either of those two possibilities are actually pretty f***ing bad. The whole industry is geared to accept this kind of mentality, that monetizing a game you've already paid for using a free-to-play model is actually okay. So I think the whole point of this video is to, to let you guys know how we feel about this situation, that using a free-to-play model and monetizing the full price gains in this way is not okay and we should not accept it because you know what's going to happen Red Dead Redemption 2's is around the corner and they're going to use the same model as they they're even going to chop more wood as you said he's going to turn us into more wood we are wood to chop as Jim Sterling rightfully said we're not wood to chop leave this bullshit practice out of our full price games please is that too ranty? No. Okay guys, so that's our thoughts on microtransactions. Do you want Strauss Zelnick to chop your wood? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. There's another video right here if you want to watch that and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.